Hello and welcome to another Monkeys Motors Monday morning vlog. Um, so yeah, today is the day of the service and MOT. So it's just about quarter past nine in the morning. I am riding off to Kent, Mo Kent Motorcycles just outside Barham. Um, and yeah, I got lucky with the weather. It is nice and sunny. It's not overly warm, but you know, I'm not cold in all my gear. The roads are mostly dry, there's some wet patches around the edges, I'm guessing there's going to be wet patches under the trees, but I'm still going to hopefully be able to enjoy this ride down some twisty roads, get to go above 30 miles an hour, which I haven't done in a, a while, not round a corner anyway, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the ride. Um, first off is I need to go get a bike magazine, because I've got keep myself occupied for two and a half hours while my bike service and MOT'd and I can't rely on Paul Hollywood always being there to have a chat to about Ducatis but um so yeah off to the shops right so here we are at Tesco's let's see if I can get away with running in buying a magazine and running out without taking my helmet off I know it might seem a bit rude but it takes a while to put all this shit on and um People looking at me, talking to myself. Neela always seems to get away with it. So why can't I? He never takes his bloody helmet off. AKA the V-Twin Vlogster. Alright, magazines, magazines, magazines. Two wheels. We came for oh, last one, last one. All right, security guard isn't chasing me yet. No point kicking me out now. I'm on the way out. Remember to blur out my card. pin number. Right. We made it. Now for petrol. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to purchase petrol. So I'm not joking, I've done 120 miles since I last filled up. And now my daily commute is like a total of 5 miles. Like it's been weeks. I have to take my gloves off. 50 litres, very round and precise. I hope he wasn't expecting it to be 50 pounds. Alright, are they going to stay there? Stay there, gloves. Let's find my wallet. Wallet, pocket, zip, two poppers, waist belt for the bag, back it up a little bit, put the super unloaded in because we like a bike, 
and go. These two new. Is there a fight breaking out? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, they're okay now. So now we get to cry at my poor miles per gallon. You know, I used to get like 45 miles per gallon, and that was going like between 60 and 90 down country roads. Now I put along at 30. Miles per gallon's awful, it's like 30 now, rather than 45. Because I'm going a third of the speed. Not obviously. So that 120 miles cost me 17 litres. Jesus Christ. Normally only be 12 litres. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Alright, oh, it's 130 miles. Still should have only been 13 litres. That's awful. It really is awful. Compared to what I'm used to. <coughs> right, I have got to be 25 miles away. In half an hour, should be easily done. Visor down. Badass mode engaged. So my bike's now 15 kilos heavier at least. Oh, I haven't done this journey for a few months. Oh, the roads are quite wet. Have to take it easy. Oh, sixth gear. There's something I haven't seen for a long time. Oh, I love how much my mirrors vibrate. If it was warm and dry, I would have gone for the overtake, mate, but it's cold and wet. I want more space. That'll do. Oh, wind, right in the face. Well, it's our favourite roundabout. All the crows, who had lovely sign of not dying. What? Jesus. But yeah, let's see if we can go around here without crashing today. Looking good so far. We made it. We made it! We made the road so shiny. Why does that lorry not look like it's braking at all? Nah, it's quite a big puddle. Puddle. It's quite hard to say puddle when you're wearing a crash helmet. It squishes up your cheeks. It's crazy to think that this used to be my daily commute, you know, 25 miles to work, 25 miles home, 50 miles a day, you know, my total commute now is about 3 miles, so this is like 2 weeks worth of riding just going to on the garage and back, it's 
So yeah, I'm saving a lot on mileage, petrol, tyres now, but I do miss the ride. Road closed, resurfacing. Please don't tell me I have to ride across unsurfaced road. I hate doing that. Well, oh, nope, here it is. Fun times. Ugh. Oh, that's not too bad. It's been recently resurfaced. I'm not going to go overtaking on it, though. Oh, there's patches where they still haven't resurfaced. It's just not worth the risk. Don't know what's up ahead. I don't want to be doing 19 get into a pack of petrol gravel just as I need to change lanes. We shall go slow. Well, I think that's the end of it, so I might as well overtake a little bit, and I? I know it's nice that you want to nod me, but nicer if you stayed on your side of the road mate. Yeah. He was right on that white line. Don't turn in. Thank you. I'm still alive! I don't know why I always thank cars for doing as they should but I guess you know positive reinforcement. Don't kill us, motorcyclists. Good cars, good cars. Oh, that's quite quick! It's a bit bumpy. <coughs> Been a while since I've let fourth gear ever run. Jesus. Jesus! Fucking hell. What are those buggers playing at? Alright, so that's the service and MOT done. Um, 270 quid lighter, but never mind. Things have to be done. Got some new rear brake pads to wear in. Oh, I can tell everything's been lubed. So now, not back off home, I'm actually back off to William Harvey Hospital. Um, my mirror's in the same place, good. No, there's been a bit of a unexpected turn of events, so Tiger Koi, aka Emma, girlfriend, has, um, Wait, let me just try not kill myself. She's um, had a bit of like a funny problem with her eye recently. And uh, my one eye has just been a bit hazy. A couple of days, a bit of a headache. So, you know, she went to the optician. She doesn't wear glasses or anything. And he, from the Simpsons, he kind of knew what it would be and looked for the problem but couldn't see it. Um, yeah, everything seemed fine, so he's told her to go off to A&E. So she's just been admitted to A&E on the rotary ward. So I'm now going to cane it over to the William Harvey Hospital. Go see if she's alright, really. I'm sure it'll be nothing serious, but um, let's have to wait and see. I don't know if you can hear me over the wind noise, but... I don't really have time to go slow, so... Anyway, I'll give you an update when I know more. Heavy rain, lovely sunshine. Great fun. No traffic lights. So the roads are extra slippy, it's just rained. Well, I just pissed it out, I should say. It's 
all the oils and dust that were just lying on the road surface and now all turned into a lovely slimy slippy sludge and let's try our best not to crash so yeah as a quick summary it seems that um but yeah they're not really sure the nurse can see anything wrong so they've discharged her for now and she's got to go back Wednesday to have an appointment have her eye looked at see if they can find out what's going on um, and yeah I got absolutely drenched but now it's dried up again so hopefully I can try dry off before I have to pack up my gear let's try not crash into the back of a van um, but yeah that'll be it for this week's Monday morning vlog a bit more exciting than usual Hopefully the less one will be less exciting. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.